Last week, the province announced the 51 applicants who were successful in winning pot permits in Saskatchewan. Jason Childs is a professor at the University of Regina of Economics, but you were also part of a, uh, a policy uh, expert group that put out a, a marijuana survey or a report rather. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. What were your thoughts on that lottery system for deciding who gets those permits? Well, it was a little bit unexpected. It was something we hadn't anticipated, but I think it's a really good idea in that it makes the process as fair and open as it can possibly be. It limits the opportunity for governments to give cookies to friends, so I think it, it was a really good idea. And, you, you know, with any lottery system, you're going to have strange outcomes or outcomes you don't always like, but for the most part, it's fair. Uh, looking at the winners, uh, do you think that those it's a pool of people that can successfully run marijuana businesses? I think for the most part it is. I mean, there's a lot that the, to even be in the lottery, the threshold for financial resources was quite high. And the good character thing is, is, is a bit of a question mark. But I think for the most part, those who were successfully in the lottery are likely to be able to pull this off. And on that note, too, the lottery itself wasn't restricted to only Saskatchewan companies. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what your thoughts were on that? Well, it's a trade-off, right? You've got to make sure that you've got a really deep pool of strong candidates. And because if somebody doesn't make it to opening, they have to go to the second person on the list. So you want a deep pool there. At the same time, you know, it's unfortunate that we you can't be just Saskatchewan. So there's a bit of a trade-off, and this is not a bad outcome. So two-thirds of those currently are, operate or have some meaningful tie to Saskatchewan. And that's, that's not bad. And two of the winners of First Nation groups, do you think that uh, is enough, or four, sorry, uh, do you think that's enough in, you know, giving them a piece of the pie when marijuana is legal, making sure they have their cut? It's a pretty good start. Four is a good number um, to start with. Five was the biggest single winner. So, uh, it, you know, how much more can you ask for? So we have we have our winners. Still some work to do. Still lots of time before uh, we actually get to these pot shots yeah. opening. Give us a sense of what's next. Well, the next step is they've got to begin the permitting process and start getting ready to open up. Start developing their meaningful plans, finding real estate, uh, getting ready to open, making sure they've got all their permits for the municipalities in line and ready to go. And then it's a waiting game. So we've got to wait for the legislation to drop. And then once the legislation drops at the federal level, then we've got a year for these guys to open up shop and if they don't do if they don't meet either of those steps they move to the next person on the list so some of these winners may drop out before they actually open their doors still lots of time so in this time between we are still seeing some illegal dispensaries operating what do you think will happen with them um, i think we're likely to see enforcement ramp up um, now you're now instead of costing money to enforce you're costing money to the government when they don't enforce and so the governments really don't like losing money and they don't like competition you're going to see them ramp up enforcement on the illegal market in a way that we haven't seen for quite a while do you think that the illegal market could still be a problem even post legalization oh it's going to, it's not going to go away overnight and it's going to take years of prolonged competition and meaningful competition in terms of price variety and quality to see that illegal market disappear the way we saw the illegal market for alcohol disappear and that didn't happen overnight either that took a long time to happen all right, well, thank you so much uh, for your insight on this today. Well, thank you very much.